Mocha Pro 2021 was released whenever it was released and I had the chance to work with the trial version so I didn't really feel the full power of it. So if this is your first time of hearing about Mocha, this video is for you. Not really for you because I'm not going to be teaching you, more like giving you a guide. Mocha Pro 2021 has this new feature which is called Mesh Track. It tracks both the position, the scale, the perspective and the distortion of your subject or whatever you want to track. Let me break that down into simpler ways for you to understand. Let's say I have this my hand this way and I also track it without Mocha Pro. What I would have done is that I would have 2D tracked the hand just to make sure that I get my position and rotation correct and then I would have added the mesh warp effect to what I'm tracking and then create keyframes for the distortion whilst warping it in whatever way my hand is warping it. What? Thanks to Mocha Pro, we now have the Mesh Warp which is capable of tracking these details with just the click of a button. So without any further ado, let's get right into what we are going to be doing today with the Mocha Pro Mesh Tracking tool or the Mesh Tracking feature, I would call it. Smile. Let's get into it. Oh, Pop Studio. Well, so before I continue, I'd like to thank you guys for 500 subscribers. It means a lot to me. YouTube told me I now have enough fans to fill a jumbo jet. I don't know whether it's true or they're just trying to pump my head. With that out of the way, let's get right into what we came here for today. So basically, what we are going to be doing with the mesh tracking is just put tattoos on my face and I want to look like Lil Uzi Vert. Why did I say Lil Uzi Vert? It's basically because he's kind of like one of the rappers who has many tattoos on his face. Jumping right out of that, let's get right into the shots that we are going to be taking for this effect well for the shots as you guys know i don't like to go for anything complicated all i just want is just a close-up of me talking like an idiot basically just talking right after i'm done with the shots i'm just going to close my setup and everything here and get right back into the studio or my room so without any further ado let's get right into it so obviously in after effects the first thing i have to do is import my footage and create a new composition from the selection in the effects tab, I'm going to search for Mocha Pro and add it to my video inside my composition. Clicking on the Mocha logo will now open a pop-up window which will now send me into the Mocha plugin so I can work freely without depending on After Effects anymore. In the Mocha plugin window, you can use the hand tool to pan around your video in case it's too big for you to see and you can use the zoom tool to zoom in and out. So with the x blind tool, I'm just going to draw a rough mask around my face. It doesn't really have to be precise. Just make sure that it's covering the whole part of the face. In the controls down there, we're going to make sure that we tick perspective because my head moves a little bit and the mesh, that's basically because we're just working with mesh distortion. This then generates a rough mesh around your face, which isn't really accurate. So we'd have to do some tweaks a little bit. We'd have to change the mesh generation to uniform. And then for the mesh size, the bigger the mesh size, the lower the number of details, so I decided to pick a lower value because I'm using a low quality camera. Then you can now take adaptive contrast if your phone has this kind of auto contrast, auto color thing. Then you just click on generate mesh to regenerate the mesh and then you're finally done with the settings. All you just have to do is make sure that you're on the first frame and then click on the track forward button and let Mocha Pro do its thing. So whilst Mocha Pro does the tracking, you can go have some coffee or you can go have a drink or maybe just watch a movie. When it's done, we come back into Mocha Pro and continue with the effect. Right after the track is done, you need to do a little bit of tweaks again. All you just need to do is go to the top of the Mocha Pro plugin window and then click on show planar surface, move to the side and expand the planar surface to fill the whole window and move into the stabilize tab and make sure that mesh wrap is turned on and the draft quality is set to high well then you just save mocha and close it and let's get back into adobe after effects and continue with the effect back in after effects all you need to do is duplicate your main composition delete the mocha effect from it right click and select pre-comp rename it to however you want it and press ok so now you can recopy the mocha effect from the main footage inside the composition onto the pre-comp and then go into module renders, tick render and make sure that it's set to stabilize wrap. Since our first frame is our reference frame, all you just need to do now is go into the pre-comp and add your tattoo, change the blending mode to multiply, add some box blur, 
add some noise and whatever you want just do the tweaks go back into the main composition change the blending mode to multiply again but make sure that the footage inside the pre-comp is turned off so it doesn't show inside the main composition again i hope i'm not confusing you well so basically that's the idea if you followed all these steps correctly you should be getting something like this Well, I decided to take mine a step further. I then went into Photoshop with a freeze frame of my reference frame and then I just started to place all those tattoos, hocus pocus, anyhow I wanted them to be, exported all of them as PNGs and brought them back into After Effects, just changed the blending mode to multiply inside the pre-comp and then I was done, as simple as ABC. Well, so right after I did that madness again, I had something like this. Thank you guys for supporting me thank you guys for staying till this part of the video if this video really helped you up your game in the tracking in mocha pro or after effects leave this video a like leave a comment on which effect you'd like to see me recreate and most of all subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay notified whenever i post a video at all freaking times but whenever my video inspires you to create something you can tag me on instagram or use the hashtag vfx with read or you can just follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on wherever you can ever find me. And um, basically, that's it. Till next week, get some creative ideas and make it real. I hope I see you in my next video.